Okay, so we're back, and now for this part, we're going to be doing the uh, top chassis side brackets and the control uh, panel mounting bracket, which is basically this one back black piece and these chassis looking pieces. Let me just uh, start off by opening them. Now, I've moved this up more so you can see while I mount it. Okay. So these are basically going to be mounted over here on the sides. And then uh, we have the control panel mounting bracket, which I'm opening now. And that's going to be mounted on the inside. Now, I'm not really sure what's going to go there. I'm assuming some kind of maybe the controller board or something, but for now, we'll just leave it how it is. And it says that this is going to be mounted here somewhere. I'm assuming there. And uh, I'm still not too sure what it's going to be used for, but we'll worry about that as it comes along. So we're going to start off by mounting this one here. Now first there's three holes. There are three holes. Sides, top and the bottom are the same. There. I'm going to take some and use some more more playroom That's the bad screw that we used from before because it's not screwing in nicely. trouble here. Let me just kind of take that off and run this through. Okay, that runs through nicely. Let's try this one here. That too runs through pretty nice. This really isn't that hard to do, it just makes it a little difficult here with the camera and the positioning. This is a big kit actually, so... Uh, Alright, so now...
Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and flip this on the side, see if I can get a better angle while I do this. So yeah, that was a bit of a challenge, but we were able to do it. All right. What I would recommend you do is that you actually start off by, instead of screwing this board right away, screw it in after you've done this, this part because it's kind of awkward, the positioning. Even though it's not that hard, it's really... It's a little bit difficult to line up the screws, but it's not that bad. Alright, now for the next one. Now the wheel kind of gets in the way, but you can squeeze the Allen key through as you tighten it in. And as you go higher and higher with the screw it actually becomes easier. I know you can't see it, but we're actually still going at it back here. We're screwing in from inside the platform. And there we go. It's a little bit difficult to get in there, but the good thing is this is very, very sturdy. easier. Oh yeah. So this one went in a lot easier. Probably just because uh, maybe one of these got slightly deformed in, in the shipping of the product. It's not a big deal. We see that happen often with a lot of robot kits and actually this one hasn't been that bad at all. So, uh, nothing to be worried about.
Okay, I'm gonna need a different angle here. proving to be rather difficult. So we've got that more or less screwed in. So we're going to come back in a moment. We're going to just finish doing some things here to the kit, and kind of review the uh, guideline and see where we're at, after which we'll come back and we'll mount this. One of the reasons why we haven't mounted the control panel mounting kit, mounting brackets, because we don't know what it's going to be used for. So I just want to quickly look through the manual and see what we need to do. Maybe read up online and see what they're doing with it.